Hey guys, welcome to the demo video. We got uh, the Arduino all hooked up here. We got our, this is this is the piezo uh, speaker that I got. It's just a couple little terminals here. And it does have plus and minus, I don't know if you can see that. But it does have plus and minus on it, so it's polarized. Um, it's, it's, like I said, this one's from Multicomp. Um, that's a little piezo speaker. I don't know, it's not really little. It's pretty good size, about the size of a little bigger than a quarter. Um, anyway, <clears throat> there's our resistor. I just kind of twisted it up on there. That's our little uh, current shunt resistor. And then I made a little, I just had one of these little push buttons uh, laying around. And I just soldered some wires onto it. So what I'm doing is I'll just push it and it should execute the code, load the code to it and everything. So I'm going to push the execute button and let's give a listen. And that's all that I, I put of the melody. So anyway, it does work. Hopefully you guys heard that. Um, so I can get, get it closer to the microphone here. Uh, push it again. All right. <laughs> I need to finish the melody, but I just, you know, I just wanted to give a quick demo that it does work. Um, anyway. So there you go. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to actually take and uh, switch from the camera here on the demo table here. I'm going to switch back to the PC camera and we'll check out that software. Hey guys, welcome back to the computer here. Um, got it back on this guy and I'm going to show you that uh, musical code generator, which is I'm calling MCG, but I've got it right here on the, my desktop here. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to just double, you'll just download it from the project code link and uh, then just put it on your desktop somewhere. It'll just be the executable will be in there as well as I'll put the, I'll post the, uh, the source code for it just in case there's any glitches in there. Uh, you can go in and fix it. Like I said, I've just tested it myself. I haven't really used this tool that I created extensively yet. So if there's little anomalies, you guys can fix it. Um, it's going to be totally open source, uh, it's done in VB just because it's VB's easy, <laughs> and I can just throw stuff together with it really fast. So if you download like uh, one of the Visual Studio Expresses or whatever that is, the VB Express .NET Express or whatever that is, uh, you'll be able to edit it no problem. So anyway, let's go ahead and open it up. So double click, and and definitely if you find a problem, uh, let me know. Okay, so let me know, and I'll I'll fix it on my end. So that way, any newcomers that download it will uh, will get it, and I'll I'll probably do a channel post or whatever if uh, if I need to make a new version of it because of a glitch or something. So definitely let me know, and I'll I'll, I'll fix it. Um, since like I said, I haven't really tested it extensively. So anyway, here's what it looks like. Um, here's your rests. You have different rests. You have your 16th, 8th, quarter, half, and whole. Then you've got different notes and the radial buttons correspond with these little keyboard keys. I've got basically an octave's worth of keyboard keys. Okay. And um, then the, uh, these radial buttons go hand in hand with them. These are the notes, so you can pick what note you want. So if you want a quarter note or a half note or eighth note or 16th note or whole note, whatever, um, you pick which note you want to play. Then you'll choose what octave you want. Octave zero, the only one that is uh, that's there is B. You know, B zero is octave zero, so that's why everything else is grayed out. And then octave one, two, three, four, five, all the way to six. So let's say we pick an octave two and we want an E, and we want it to be uh, yeah a half note. Let's say. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to hit E. And what it's going to do is it's going to keep track of how many notes that I've uh, been making. Okay. It's also going to uh, put down, basically start writing uh, what goes into that melody portion, you know, that melody code. And like I said, um, it, it, this will generate the code for you, so you really don't have to worry about that. But this is how you can keep track of what it's doing. You've got the note E2, and then you've got a 2 here. That's the timing. Remember the timing variable array? Um, and that corresponds to the half note, okay? So let's say I want a rest in here. I want, let's say, a eighth rest in here. Then all I do is come over here to the eighth rest button, push it, and it automatically puts a zero and puts an eight for our eighth rest. So what I'll do is I'll go on, you know, making notes, maybe at different octaves and different notes, and uh, oh, do, 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 and we'll have a couple rests. 
well, actually, you're not going to have that many rests. Let's say I accidentally mess up and I need to delete those. You come down to this delete last, and it'll delete the last entry that you put in. So let's say I've got an eighth rest here, and you got this stuff, and then you've got a sixteenth rest, and let's say sixteenth notes at octave two. You got and that, that, that. I don't know. I'm just clicking around randomly. So anyway, that's what you got going on. Let's say. Well, when it comes time that you're ready, and you can also hit the clear all button, and it'll blow all of this away. So if you hit clear all, it's all gone, and it starts over again, and it resets when you start doing stuff. So okay, so what you're gonna do is um, also let's say you you make something. I'm just gonna make a bunch of random stuff. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, and I'll put a rest, and then blah blah blah, and then another rest, whole rest, and then da 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 da. da. Okay. When you get ready that you want to export this, what you'll do, the current file is new right now because we haven't saved it. You can come up here to the file menu and you can save, um, save or save as, uh, works just like you know anything else. Um, you hit save and it'll open menu and you can, uh, you can save, I've, as you can see I've already saved one uh, on my desktop. In fact, I'll bring that over here, and plop it on here. Um, well, if it'll set over here. There we go. Okay. So I've got a <clears throat> already pre-made one. So let's say I wanted to open that one. I can go up here to file open. Shield it on that. And it opens that one up. And it opens it into here, which is kind of cool. Um, and then of course it tells me the path where I'm at. Now if I want to generate, it gives me the option of choosing where I want the generated file to go. So I'm gonna hit browse. And then oh I don't know, we'll name it something. We'll name it test um yeah testing mcg save okay so it's gonna it's gonna label it as a dot ino which is an arduino you know file and then all you have to do is hit the generate button when you hit the generate button pretty soon it should pop up of course i've got it i've got two monitors so it's gonna pop it up on another monitor uh so there it is so there it is now, if I double click on it to open it in the Arduino, um, oh, my Arduino is opening on my other screen. Give me a minute. Okay, it's going to give you this warning. Okay, the Arduino software is it's going to tell you that it needs to be inside a sketch folder. Okay, so you can say OK and it'll create the folder for you. At least the Arduino software will. I'll show you that. So it created this folder and put my, my sketch inside that folder. So now I can open it. If I double click on it, it'll give it a minute and I'll I'll drag it over here to show you the show you the code once it opens. For some reason it's being slow at opening. Here, hang on just a second, I'll be I'll be right back. Okay guys, sorry about that. Um what I've noticed that I had I didn't do uh, was causing it to bog was the fact that uh I needed, uh, I put a space in here. You can't put a space uh, in the name. And so um, I put a space in there and so it was getting all funky as far as the file generation. So you can't do spaces because the Arduino software gets crazy when you do it. So I just put an underscore in that deal. Go ahead and hit generate. It's gonna make me my file, which, oops, get it over here where you guys can see it. Hopefully, come on Windows. Oh, I got it. Thank you, I'm auto arrange on. Uh, let's see, what is it? What is it? There we go. Okay. So there we go. So I've got it right here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Now, Mark, we're opening another second. I'll go grab it. Okay. So now it's going to tell me that it's it's uh, needs to move it into a folder. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I get the software. Now, before we can do anything, we need to copy this pitches. Uh, H file, header file, into our folder. I'm going to move our folder over here so you can see it. So there's our folder. So we're going to go ahead and close this for now. Open our folder. Drag it over here. And as you can see, it just puts it in there. Now, what I did was if you go to your, let's see, your C drive or wherever your program files are, open up program files, open up your Arduino software, open the examples, digital and tone melody you'll find the pitches header file so we're going to copy that into our new folder okay get rid of that one so now that's in 
our new folder. Now we can go ahead and open it. And it should see that file and go ahead and include it in the software. So there's our software. Voila. Now we're going to go ahead and hit verify to make sure it compiles okay. And it looks like we're doing okay. I haven't seen any errors yet. Usually it's pretty quick if, it, if you get errors. And there it is. So there we go, binary sketch size, yada, 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 done compiling, everything is great and good, and there's our melody. Now, granted, it puts it all on the same line, but, you know, I mean, you don't really care, you're just wanting to upload the melody. But see, this builds all of our, all of the code that we need. Um, it doesn't put the nice little tabs in there, but it builds everything. So there's our note duration, there's our tone, there's our call to our tone that's sending it out. Um, there's the loop, the beginning of the loop that's looping through. And so there you go. It makes, generates your code for you. All you gotta do is just link it up with the pitches header file and you are good to go. So pretty cool little, uh, little piece of software here. Um, very helpful instead of typing all of this. It just does it for you as you, as you push the buttons. So you guys can let me know what you think, play around with it, uh, see what you, see what you guys can do with it. And hope you enjoyed this uh, little series that we did uh, for this musical thing. I thought that was pretty cool to play with, uh, play with the piezo speaker and, and make, uh, make little tones and little music with, uh, with the Arduino. Like again, like I said, um, look for uh, another video. I'll probably do one on uh, using a PIC microcontroller and showing you how to do that so you don't have to, those of you that may not want to spend the uh, 30 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever those Arduino boards are, if you don't want to spend the money uh, on that, I'll show you how to scribe your own board and uh, build your own basically little tone uh, circuit if you want to um, for probably I don't know I'm gonna go out on a limb I'll say probably less than five dollars maybe depending on where you are in the world and how accessible uh, these components and stuff are you know I mean shipping may play into it if you're in a place where you have to you know order it and have it shipped to you but <clears throat> more or less try to do a video uh, with uh, with that so you can see a kind of a low cost way of doing the same exact thing. So look for that. Um, also, uh, another note real quick, uh, I'll probably be creating another video coming up, kind of an update video to give you guys an update on what I've been doing, the reason it's been taking me so long to get some videos out, as well as we are almost to crack, and last time I checked, we are five subscribers away from cracking 1,500 subscribers, and that is amazing. That is amazing. And so thank you guys for sharing. Thank you so much for, uh, just watching and uh, letting other people know about it because it's it's been it's this is be this is just great. Um, I love making these videos for you guys. I love the feedback. I love answering you guys' questions and helping you guys uh, figure this stuff out. So thank you again. Look for those two movies or videos coming up, and like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And guys, I'm out of time. So with that, that ought to do it. Take care.